Oh, yeah, no, you put like rhinestones on the Hey, so can I ask you a question real quick? Uh, would you like to say, have you ever had any personal experiences at all with yeah, this place? Yeah, I was strangled by a cop. Yeah? Yeah, I was going to go pick up my daughter uh, when she was like 12 years old like, on a Sunday night so I could get her home before she goes to school that day. She didn't get much of her homework done. And the security guard told me to get out because I forgot the grandmother's name. I, and I, I only remember her granddaughter's name that my daughter was staying with. And he said, I'm going to call the cop if you don't. So I still went out and stayed like 100 feet away. I saw the cop was listening to me, but he wouldn't. He badgered me and said, said I was an unfit mom for getting like grandma's the name. And, right. and then the, the security guard comes wow. out and says, and you thought the cop listened to you. And I says, why are you treating like that? And the cop said, that's it, you're under arrest. what? <laughs> and he's trying to grab me and they arrest me and I didn't want to get arrested because I got to pick up my daughter. Well, I don't know if I'm ever going to come back. And he and he's like grabbing me and pulling on me and all this other stuff because I had my hands in my pocket. And then and then finally uh, I went to the ground and, and, and he started to say, get her legs, get her legs. And I was kicking my legs because I didn't want to put my legs in handcuffs. And then he said, then um, he pulled me off and tore my coat and pulled it inside out and strangled me by the neck. I was, Wow. And I was, and so I left my hands out because I didn't want to die because I have a daughter to care for. Uh. And, and then he, and he, he, he called me a female dog and all this other stuff during that time, but he didn't like to be called ignorant. Wow. He said it was a crime to call me a ignorant for what he was doing. Uh, and then they put me in a holding cell. They found out I was telling the truth because they found her. Wow. But lied, my daughter told me that they lied to her and told her that I was in the hospital. She was worried about it, thought I was dying of asthma attack. Wow. And if I found out it was right, matter, I'd rather her sister not that she'll let me go and let me go to her daughter. But they didn't. They put me in a holding cell and I was there till 2 o'clock in the morning. They finally someone let me out. I wasn't the last of them, but too many people kept telling me that uh, they're going to win anyway. Why waste your time on doing that? So well, if you'd like to shed some more light on uh, what happened to you, I host a show, The Truth is Stranger Than Fiction, and uh, you can find me on like Facebook, uh, YouTube. Stranger Than Fiction, that's all I have to do. Here. Yeah, uh, YouTube, uh, The Tru or Truth is Stranger Than Fiction, if you want, and Pete. Yeah. Uh, and you'll find me. Okay. And I'd love to have you on. Put that on or go ahead. I'm yes, okay. I was going to ask you that. Because you know, I want that cop to hurt someday. Yeah. Because he was a fool. Because now I have hernia of the cervical. And I, it, it hurts me every freaking minute I turn around. And you go telling me that I deserve it when I was committing no crime by picking up my daughter. You care about parents. You care about family. How dare you pick and make fun of me, you crappy cop. We need good cops on that street, not you. Well said. Well said. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Pete Wicker. How'd it go? Good. You got it all turned up? Yeah, yeah. I'm still going, man, because they drained my cell phone battery. Uh, I swear to God, I had a full battery, and it got uh, drained on one, can or one phone, then the second, and now I'm my backup. It doesn't have to just... Inside a prison, we can talk about this. some of the needle stuff. Anything goes, man. I might... We can talk about, I mean, you know, a number of things. I, anything basically goes. Oh, there's Joe Biggs right there. Yeah, 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 I know. Actually, we can talk about, like, prisoner support work. I did ABC work for years. Yeah? You know what I mean? And then I've cool. been, you know, been on both sides of the fence, literally. Cool, man. So, I mean, I'd love to have you on. There's a couple subjects I would be able to, like... I'd love to have you on, brother. That'd be awesome, man. So what is, yeah, what was your name again? Migs, like Migsfield. Migs, okay. Yeah. I like that, I like that.